Hello, yeah, it's Nanda speaking. May I know who is calling? Yeah, how can I help you? Oh yeah, sure. You can catch up to me around uh, 5 or between 5 to 5.30. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Surprised what I am doing? Well, this is called etiquette. Etiquette is nothing but the rules which you need to follow when you carry yourself physically, right? When you talk to somebody, okay? So, look at these words, smile and the world smiles with you. Do you agree? So, there are many characters, characteristics which you come across, right? Say, your pleasantness, the body language is all about how you make the other person feel, right? So, basic intention of communication is what? Everybody will be looking for that. I will tell you what, I do not care how much you know unless I know how much you care. This is the baseline of communication, right? So, body language is very important. Then friendliness, how friendly you are in your communication, then your sincerity. So, are you sincere in uh, communicating with others, right? So, are you confident in your communication? Confidence, heng barthad helri norana, your people, how people find you confident? when you have that knowledge with you and when your fluency is there. Fluency early la andre, generi ge new confident iddiri ansodila. So, articulation, right, how you present yourself, how much fluent you are in expressing the in this particular language, right, and genuinity, all these things are created with confidence and you can get confidence when you work on your language. Yavagnu nam anko bardu, nan Kannada medium alag odini, nanang nam na village alag halli alag beldini, so Kannada medium government school alag kaltini, so I cannot speak well. So nanugu nam parents a convent school alag akidra nanu matarti de. So this is what many people think, but it is not true, right? So every time we should always fill in with a positive thing. So, what opportunity I am getting in learning, right? Say for example, you have been given these series of videos to learn and make use of the skills which are being given to you. Basic grammar in the Hidkondu, how you can frame small sentences, how you can use adjectives, how you can use pronoun without making any mistake prepositions, put together it builds a language, yes or no? So, etiquette so how you can develop your personality, right? And uh, smile of course, nobody can see you over phone, but they can definitely feel you, right? So, that feeling when you are smiling, the person comes to know, though you are not visible over the phone, right? And then Recalling ability. Recalling ability and Rena Madam Nanim Gedok phone Madi then Rene Namurak Jatri Adri Murne Tarik Barbekon. You talk for uh, half an hour, then you say Yadak uh, phone Madi Dre Heldri Nimu and Wapas Kerbardo. You understand? So, you should have that recalling ability. A recalling ability Yavagirta Heldri when you are genuinely interested in that person. Nimag unwanted call it to and Renu Nana Pitkolik Hogodiladana. How they look? So, when you want to say no, always be ready to say that. So, and greeting. So, nimga interest early landrunu, you have to create that interest in other person who is talking to you, right? So, what are telephone etiquette? Tele telephone etiquette and you are being respectful, right? Unwanted calls, Bertir Tavala. Sir, now uh, in the bank in the call, Madhuri, nimag loan back henry. He though often you receive such calls. Right? So, how can you say, eh, Udyogi Lendri Nimaga Idri Fono? This way, if you talk, there is no etiquette. Right? So, you have to be courteous enough. 
they are doing their job. So, why can't you just say, I am bit caught up, I am bit busy, I am occupied, will you mind calling me later? In Helbeku, will you mind calling me later or let us catch up later? This is how you have to be very polite over, especially over telephone. Andre misunderstanding agudila. Andre, I would have, should have, could have, I thought, you will use mado paristiti barodila, right? When you are clear in your ideas and clear in your communication, okay? So, idrolage forbidden phrases anta solpidav. Yen andre, are you coming tomorrow? Anti aradru kelidre. I don't know. Anbitra, who else should know? I don't know. Anthel bitra, it is a forbidden word eh, over uh, telephone. You cannot say that. Either you say yes or you say no. Yes, I am coming anthelri, iladri, illa anthelri. Athwa, I will let you know later anthelri. New hinge, I don't know andre, who should know about yourself? Yes or no? So, you should be very clear in your communication, especially over telephone. I will like cut my bruddh phone. If somebody is telling something, I will just cut the phone. They will call you back again. Yes or no? So, I can't do that. And the hair bruddh straight way. So, these are all forbidden words in over telephone because there is a person who is not available in front of you whom you can convince. So, over telephone you have to get rid of these expressions, right? Amele nimgena dro kelsa ertada. Just a second, I will be back and the phone it ho budu dillo. So, do not do such things, right? So, when you do not do such things, that means what? You have telephone etiquette. Cell phone, cell phone and to yalaratru ertada, right? Monne vande ado idrolaga nodli kati denano, right? Modla class ola yarara disturb madidra, aurige kivi hidadu hara kakti dranta, teacher. Ega function olaga yardara phone bandra or tamda kimi hidkun or tame of bhutarant. Right? So, you should be careful when you use, we all use cell phones. But how properly we are making use of it? So, whenever there is a public program, you are attending a program, adana mute it be cool. Switch off madli kagli landra, at least you should mute your cell phone. Right? Amele, while you drive a car, or uh, ride a bike, you should not dial and uh, talk over the phone, right, cell phone. So, go through all these points, right, business meetings, idaga personal calls attend mad bardu, right, but personal uh, uh, meeting idaga business calls always open, yes or no, so vice versa. So, uh, stay at least 10 feet away from people while talking, why, because the other person's voice may become audible to you and this person may feel annoyed that this person is coming to know everything, right? So, privacy is something which everybody should observe, yes or no? So, these small things matter the most, right? So, you should take care of that when you use your cell phone. Let me talk about dressing etiquette. What is that? There are different types of dresses, do you agree? formal dressing, informal or it is also called as casual, right? Then semi casual, semi casual and it is not totally casual, but it is mixed up. It depends on the program, okay? So, either one of the categories, yalli yao type dress hako beku, anno awareness bek, right? So, wedding edding ho gir tir ni milla, marriages ge. Only you cannot wear full black color gown in Tavala Hakondog Bard. That is a common sense, right? So, let us see what are don'ts in dressing. New yao type dress maad bardu, right? See, there is a saying you may not be good looking, but you can always look good. So, how can you look good with your dressing sense, with your presentability, with your body language, and more importantly, with your communication, the way you speak, right? New office or appointment adaga, you cannot wear the casual dress. Casual dress hakondu enta do and churidara hakondu hog bard. City vada gadda do aga ille nam gyaar parche ila bida anta beach vada hako dress hako bard, right? Amele religious places ige hogu aga, you should observe, okay? 
right. So, these are all simple uh, what you can say the tips to dress. So, ya occasion again ya type now dress mod be cool. So, mostly so many people commit error right jeans under uh, they put every everywhere. So, they cannot do that. So, you should be aware of that right. So, nim uh, college or like event maritara they fix a dress code ok. Come dressed in red color, red color sari, chudidar, gown whatever you can wear, but it should be red color. So, ang dress code yava kutritarala then you have to use that particular dress code and go to the party or an event right and any cloth which is revealing should not be worn right. It uh, just uh, brings down your uh, respect or your personality right and do not use any cloth which is very tight or hale hale picture or gala heroine gold hakondra tarla anta vela hakobar right or something which is very loose anta dunu hakobar it should be presentable right you should feel comfortable that is more important when you are comfortable you can carry yourself in a better way what not to wear and right in those shorts so anta dela hakondo you cannot go for a formal functions right and you should always have a clear idea what is office wear and what is party wear sleeveless so, so you should uh, select your dresses carefully where you are going and what you are wearing so that makes all the different difference right ok. So, salwar kameez or formal shirt or trousers for office so when you complete your graduation and you join a job then how you should dress up ok so, this basic idea you should have right ok. Then uh, western top if you like you can of course wear them. So, that has become very common in India now because of MNCs and because of uh, uh, internationally renowned companies that are entering Indian market it is quite obvious, but you see that you choose your clothes properly right and you should not wear heavy jewelry to the office or to the uh, what you can say the formal functions you cannot wear the heavy necklace or big earrings something like that you it is forbidden totally right. You might have observed this right. So, why is that lady wearing that right this particular dress on this occasion right you are surprised because they do not have etiquette. So, you should have dressing etiquette so that you can become presentable right. See these are the examples where which could be used for a party and for a office wear right and the sharp uh, pointed heels they should not be worn for office right. You should use uh, uh, shoes right something of that sort. So, whatever you use for your as your personal thing right do not carry a heavy vanity bag adu kelobrige adu rudi aag bittar heavy vanity bag adu rol gella napkin adu idu yella eeg matta sanitizer it kolo dhan band bittar adilo. So, you should not carry the unwanted luggage in your vanity bag and make it so huge right. So, you should be careful as to how you can present yourself and body language uh, this etiquette is extremely important when you talk to people right. So, you cannot raise your eyebrow right or bite your lip when you are talking to somebody outside or at the formal program or in the office. So, you should be totally full of etiquette right. So, these are to be followed compulsorily and how will you come to know whether your etiquette is correct just by observing yourself as an outsider. Say for example, you are sitting on your chair, you are working on your notes you are uh, studying something right just visualize that you are uh, just observing yourself from top of the ceiling there is like cc camera hakir tarla r type when the cc camera it's observing me just think like that and find out what mannerisms you are carrying with you are you biting your nails right are you doing something unnecessary or unwanted right are you pulling your hair often what do you do that affects your personality. So, when you keep observing this then you can have you can become a full package of etiquette right just from the beginning with your physical appearance ok. Physical appearance and with your dressing 
with your communication, what you speak, how you speak, with whom you speak, everything you put together, it becomes etiquette. Understand? So, this is how we need to build brick by brick, as I told you. Building is built brick by brick. Personality is built brick by brick, step by step. So, inculcate these qualities, these virtues in you, you will become a perfect human being, right? So, avoiding all kinds of mannerisms which are not giving you any uh, personality weightage. So, if you want to give weightage to your personality, understand what is lacking. After understanding, accept what is lacking. After accepting, learn what is to be done. After learning, inculcate in yourself. After inculcating, present yourself. That is how etiquette works, right? So, in this session, I am giving you some tips on building etiquette. So, in your communication as well, you should be choosy in using the words. You cannot be using abusive words. With your friends, you can be free, but with your colleagues, you have to be careful. Though they are your friends, it is called emotional intelligence. So, EQ is gaining more importance, right? So, your qualification will pave way inside the job, but what keeps you there is your EQ, emotional intelligence, how well you carry yourself, right? So, big companies, they do not mind considering uh, uh, big high scores, but that is not the only way out. So, your presentability filled with etiquette is extremely important, right? And uh, in the public, right, making some physical gestures which is not acceptable or uh, making uh, graffiti. Graffiti means what? The designs, okay, exhibiting them. So, all these things are forbidden. So, you have to be careful about it, right? And your uh, communication or uh, whatever you give to others, it should not be offensive. Offensive and renew or the acceptance aglike anta. People cannot accept you that way, right? Okay, so all these things you have to be careful when you present yourself, then you can have a perfect personality, right? So you cannot have a disorderly conduct in a public place. Public place or again madudu, right? So it is not allowed. So pulling veil of somebody maybe your friend, okay, but it is not accepted or hitting somebody, all these things are not allowed in a public place. So, you have to be careful. See, I told you, you cannot not communicate means whatever you feel is exhibited outside word. So, etiquette is basically a French word, okay. So, etiquette means a manner, how we carry. So, now what I am talking about is general etiquette about your dressing, personality, uh, presentability, uh, body language and your words, what you use and what I covered, telephone etiquette and uh, the public place etiquette, right, how you have to behave. So, you, can you imagine a world where everybody is so presentable, okay. So, in Japan, they have a custom of wearing mask when they go outside. It is their practice. Nobody uh, should tell them over phone or uh, displaying in the television. They need not tell, but they are habituated like that. So, they avoid so many diseases, especially the contagious diseases spread by one person to another person. That can be avoided by wearing mask, right? And when they enter the house, they keep all the things separately, right? This is what they have followed. In our Indian culture also, we wash our uh, feet when we uh, come uh, out from outside, when we enter the house, we should be clean, change the dress and wear the dress which we wear at home. So, all these are uh, etiquette only, right? So, if your uh, house is not clean, uh, you can make it uh, more comfortable to live in by following these etiquette. Right? If you have the habit of throwing your ID somewhere, book somewhere, keeping your bag somewhere and if somebody asks you why are you doing like this, that is the way I am. This is not the right way of replying, understand? So, this is the first step how you can be presentable with etiquette, right? 
So that is all in this video. Next video I will catch up with some other topic. See you.